Luca never used to listen to others. He was very naughty and elephant. He used to hurt small creatures like snail, squirrel, rabbit, and birds with a nest. He knows that one day he will become the leader of the herd. Because of that reason, he did not bother to make friends with the small creatures like a snail, squirrel, and rabbit. Can you tell me what did he do? He brought the flowers, branches with nest. So you can see in the picture. He crushed the snails under the foot and he, and he sprayed water in the rabbit holes. So all the animals were tired of his mischief. This is what we studied the last week. Now we will go to the remaining story. All the animals decided to talk to the leader of the elephants and tell him that Buka is becoming really naughty. The leader hears them out and realizes that naughty Buka needs to be taught a lesson. That night, Buka goes to sleep next to his mother's warm bed side. Did you see this picture? You can see that. Buka is sleeping to his mother's warm belly side. Next morning, he wakes up surprised. He finds himself alone on the banks of the small pool. He jumps up and searches near the pool, but he couldn't find anyone over there. And also, he lifts his trunk to catch the smells floating in the breeze. What's the meaning of breeze? Breeze means light wind that is blowing. This is called breeze. It's not a strong one, it's very really light wind. But no sign of the elephant heard. He couldn't find out anyone over there. Buka feels frightened and he starts crying. Poor Buka. Where will he find his parents in such a huge and dense forest? So he turns to the birds, animals and small insects in the forest for help. They all turn away. That means they all refuse to help him. Poor Buka turns to squirrels. Squirrel says, have you forgotten? How you should the branches and tomatoes fall? Then he turns to mother rabbits. The rabbit mother says, Don't you remember how we poured water down our hole? We nearly died. We almost died. Now see how it feels. Serves you right. What do you feel is right. And then he turns to butterfly. The butterflies also refuse to help him. Buka starts crying. And then he falls asleep, crying beside the pole. Next day, when he wakes up, he finds himself sleeping right in the middle of his hurt next to his mother's warm belly. Was that a dream? Thinks Buka to himself. After that day, no one complains about Buka ever again. Okay. What's the moral of the story? We should be kind to others and not to hurt anyone. If we always we should be kind to others. If we, if we hurt others, what will happen? We will also get hurt. That's the moral of the story. 
So hope all of you have a